You hear me now? Yes, sir. I can hear you. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good, good, man. I'm doing amazing. Appreciate you All jumping right. on. Yeah, of course. Appreciate yeah. you taking this call. Of course, man. Of course. I know I'm a few minutes late here. Apologies. I had another meeting. Uh, we went over, but but uh, yeah, but here we are. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Yeah, let's let's kind of dive in, dude. Where where are you calling from today? I'm calling from uh, uh, LA. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Where, where are you? So right now I'm in. We're based out of uh, Las Vegas, but right now I'm in Medellin, Colombia. Oh, okay. Cool. Yes, sir. Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit away, but luckily the time zones are still, uh, you know, U.S. time zones, and, and yeah. So. So yeah, man, you run a uh, a kitchen remodeling, bathroom remodeling company out of LA, or or, or what no. is it? So, you guys so the company I'm running is a, it's a gates and fences. Okay, like fence yeah. installation. Fence installations, gate installations, gate repairs. Okay, Those are that I'm doing. Okay, so like vinyl fences. Yeah, vinyl, wood, uh, chain link. Uh, uh, no chain link, steel fences, um, any custom fence and gates, uh, automatic gates. Yeah, that's pretty much what uh, what my company does here. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah. What what part of LA? I'm located, which okay. is there. okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. good area. Yeah, but I'm I'm working basically all over LA County and Orange County. Okay, nice. That's good. Yeah, we actually don't have any. Um, we actually don't have any clients in LA, so you're pretty much good, man. You can actually, yeah, pretty much handpick uh, any 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 part of LA that you'd like, uh, which is which is awesome. So, yeah. uh, how long have you guys been in business? I'm doing that. I'm I'm in the business for 18 years. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Nice, man. And what's the name of the business? Uh, the name of the business is. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I just, I just, I, this company actually started just six months ago. So wow. This, yeah. So what were you doing the, before you started this company? I had a different company. I had a company with a, with a partner. Uh, and we end up the partnership and now I, I, I start this company. I see. So you're, are you starting from scratch or do you still have like customers and that kind of I thing? I still have customers. Um, I have a Tamtac account that I'm working with. Um, I have my, uh, my Google website and yeah, and I have, and st- I still have customers because I'm, I'm here in LA. I'm doing it for about five years. So, okay. so yeah, I still have a lot of customers. Nice. And that's that's great to hear. What inspired you to to book the call here today with me? I uh, I actually uh, I I started my Facebook page and Instagram page a few days ago, and I realized that I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to do it alone. So I I, I needed someone, and then I I saw your uh, video over I think Facebook or Instagram, and then I heard what you said, and I wanna the call to to see how we can uh, make this thing work okay nice sounds good let me uh i'm gonna go in and actually just google your company real quick uh because you did say that you are relatively new so i'm gonna go in actually here i'll share my screen let me know once you can see okay okay should be good now yeah no not that was my previous company so yeah, that's the first one. That's okay. So right now, if someone calls this number, where does it go? This is my the to my ex partner. So if someone googles your company right now, they're gonna call your ex partner. Yeah, that's what that's what's worrying me actually. Why don't you change the name? I think that's what I will have to do because it's, yeah. Now when I'm saying that it's really concerning because they're going to call right to them. 
Right. And I'm, the reason I'm saying this is imagine if you put up billboards all over LA and they say Coastline Gates uh, and they have your name on them. They have even your phone number. But then, you know, since someone's driving, they're not going to they're not going to you know call you right then and there. They might not even take a photo yeah. of it. They might remember the name. So yeah. they're going to go to Google and type in Coastline Gates, Los Angeles, and then they're going to call your partner instead of you thinking that it's you. Yeah, that's fucked up. And I'm using billboards because he's an example, but it's also the same thing with Facebook. Someone sees yeah. a Facebook ad, they go to, they, maybe they see it and then they just remember it later, or maybe they just want to see that you're a real business. Yeah. We do see that people just Google you. Like we track our Facebook stuff, like you said, but typically when we run like Facebook ads or Instagram or whatever, phone calls increase on the website too, because people just Google the website and then they call for yeah. I just don't want this guy stealing, you know, if you're going to pay for yeah. advertising, you don't want him stealing your, your, your ads, your ad budget. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. And th th this is more common than you think, by the way, like this is, there's tons of people that have, you know, a similar name. And then w when you Google them, like they don't even know who that company is and then they just don't realize it. So it can't happen. So all of this is like, which one's your website? The first one. So this guy is, and you're just yeah yeah that's way too close man it's way too close yeah that's i mean you're basically like the same business name with one word i mean the good news is you know if he's spending money on ads then maybe someone will land on your website right <laughs> i don't know but my website is not you know uh it's it's new so it's more likely that he gonna get more jobs yeah. Yeah. So this is his website. Yeah. Okay. This one's yours. Yeah. You're on Google Guarantee? No, nah, not yet. Okay. When did you, um, did you build this yourself or did you hire someone to build this for you? I hired someone to build it. Nice. How much was it? Like 600. One time? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's very cheap. You think it's worth it? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not a bad looking site. I would definitely add your phone number towards the top. You have this, but the thing is like, um, it's, it says call us now. We'll call now. Like it's a button. But I mean, I've, I'm on my computer, so I can't really yeah. click it at all, right? So I would just have this number much, much bigger. Okay. At the very top. So I would even maybe even have it like in the center right here. And I would just have it a little bit bigger just so people can actually see. Uh, what is this right here? Why does it say Divi? I don't know, actually. Div okay, so I know what it is. Divi is a WordPress theme. So you're using WordPress and the theme that he installed is called Divi. I know because I've used this theme. Okay. So, so, there's, so I need to remove it. Correct. You got to put your logo up there. So he just forgot yeah. to put your logo and he's using an old logo. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, now like really the name is concerning me right now. I never was thinking about it in this way. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at it as if a normal customer was Googling you. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, nice. Uh, okay, so yeah, I mean, I would I would fix that page for sure. Okay. So if you go on the bottom, these links are broken. So I would just try to fix those. Okay. Yeah, so none of these work right here. I could tell. Watch. Yeah. So projects won't work either. That one doesn't work. So the links up top work, which is good. Okay, interesting. Cool. Yeah, man. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely better than having no website. I see some people, man, they have the most atrocious website from like 1960. So yeah. <laughs> it's good at least that you don't have that. I mean, you have the baseline things. You have a gallery that people can actually look at. And so, yeah, man, it's really, it's, it's not that bad. It's definitely worth the $600. I mean, we charge minimum like 4,000. So this is, this is definitely. Yeah. Worth it. 
um, cause we're, we're very expensive. So yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll do, uh, obviously when you, when you underpay, you know, things come broken. It's like when you hire yeah. the cheapest defense contractor, as soon as you get a little bit of wind, it all breaks, you know? So yeah. this is, this is kind of one of those things to where it's like, either there's stuff broken. If, if hackers come in, I mean, they're going to break the whole thing, but it'll, yeah. it'll be for now. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I wanted something, you know, that's just something that's going to be up, you know, and I'll be able to, well, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know, it's not perfect, and it yeah, probably needs yeah. to be much better. That's all right. Yeah, I mean, you got the social proof up there, so yeah, it definitely works. So, what is? How are you mainly getting calls right now? Is it just like referrals and uh, now like, just referrals, memory? old customers, and thumbtack. Thumbtack. How much are you paying yeah. for lead? Um, I would say an average of 50 per lead. Yeah. Okay. And so how much are you spending per month? Roughly? Like about, I believe 1500, 1800. Okay. So a pretty decent amount. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So when you jumped on this call, uh, were you more interested because you brought up Facebook. Uh, do you have a certain direction that you're you're leaning towards? Like, have, do you want to test something like Facebook, Instagram? Uh, are you more interested in like Google? I'll, I'll give you my opinion as well, but I'm just curious to see where where you're at. Okay. Um, I want to get like I heard like Facebook. Uh, it's a good platform to advertise, and Instagram too. I just, I was working with Google before and I, I was spending like tons of money and I didn't really get a good results. And yeah. I understand that I need to have a deep pockets to really work with Google and be... Google ads, right? Yeah, Google ads. Yeah. So that's why I'm not doing Google anymore. I'm not doing Yelp even anymore just because it's a shitty lead. Yeah. I agree. Honestly, dude, all of like the all the companies that are cost per cost per lead and cost uh, that basically charge you or pay per lead, um, and then they they send that same lead to everyone else in town. Mm -hmm. All those companies are just kind of tough to work with because all those customers are are going to be price shoppers naturally because yeah. they're getting quotes by minimum four or five people. And they don't yeah. really know you guys. So they're just going to go with someone that's cheapest or someone that's like, they just like the most, uh, but most of the time it's just cheapest. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of how that works. So I just Googled like fence company LA uh, and also gate. So you guys do gate repair, right? Yeah. I'm doing, I want to be focused more on gates. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. And like fences is also like part of the company. But I will be more interested in like um, be focused on gates installations, uh, like driveway gates, pedestrian gates. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of like a lot of competitions. Competition in the gate repair and the electric gate repair uh, here in LA. So I kind of don't want to go like more on a gate repair just because I know that there is like much more competition in this category. So you're saying you do want to go after gate repair be because no, of more, I want to be no, I want to be more uh, focused on gate installations. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, I'm looking at the searches. I mean, so right now there's about almost 600 people that search for gate repair Los Angeles. So it's not. Um, just today or per month per month that's that's on uh, uh google yeah so yeah gate installation man it's around 100 so it's there's five times more people looking for gate repair versus gate installation yeah yeah okay i see interesting yeah, I thought it, I, I thought it's much more. Yeah, it, it's well. I mean, it, it makes sense. I mean, more people need to have their gates 
uh, repaired, then people yeah. want new gates, right? So it kind of, yeah, yeah. it does kind of make sense. Yeah. But but that doesn't mean that it's not worth it. I mean, if you get paid way more, if your profit margins are much better for gate installation, then we can certainly focus on that. Yeah, um, even though there's less. Both. Yeah, I mean, if there's less phone calls, then but you're making more money, then it's you know it doesn't matter. It's like back when I used to work with like contractors in general. Uh, we they did a bunch of different services. Like we do decks and patios and remodeling and roofing and this. And so a lot of them want to focus on kitchen remodeling because it was, it was you know it's like fifty thousand dollars for a kitchen, yeah. sixty. And so it's just more you know seventy. So it's just more profitable for them. And so that's kind of became our bread and butter. But sure. this is interesting. I mean, it's up to you. We certainly could do both. If if we did something on Facebook, we might be able to do both. Um, mm-hmm. But on Google, it's it's kind of up to you. It's a little bit hard to necessarily like. So with Google Ads, man, this is what you're talking about. You're talking about like ranking up here and yeah. then where it's sponsored, right? You said this was very expensive. Yeah, I don't want to be there. Yeah, it's very, it is very expensive. I so know, this very- tool... Yeah. It tells us about, I mean, it's about $8 per click, but it's, I mean, chances are it's more. Yeah. I, and that's I, just, I, and, and that's I, just to get someone to click on your website. Yeah. I was paying like for just a phone call, like about 400 bucks. Wow. It was crazy expensive. That's why I, I, I stopped. Well, doing I that. think, I mean, if you're, did you set them up yourself or who set up the Google ads? No, account? no, no. Well, I had, I had someone that were working on the Google ads. You had a company? Mm-hmm. How much were you paying this company? Like a thousand dollar a month. That's their service fee, or and then, yeah, okay, and fee. then how? And I was paying for Google like about seven, eight thousand dollars a month. Seven or eight thousand per month. It goes directly yeah. to. Google. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you had a pretty decent budget. Uh, I'm I'm really shocked as to why it was four hundred dollars per call. Because I was going to say if you hired someone, you know overseas you know for four dollars an hour then it's going to be very expensive because they don't know what they're doing but that's very yeah. interesting because you say you're saying that uh it sounds like they had yeah. a, had a big enough budget that's interesting yeah i mean what i like where i like to be man is like in the organic section i'm not a huge fan of of the google ads just because you're competing with a bunch of a bunch of big companies and also yeah. you're competing with like yelp you're competing with um, you know, home advisor, you're competing with a lot of these people. Now it seems like in a, right. So there's Angie. So yeah, it's, it can be quite competitive and it can be quite expensive because you're just kind of trying to outbid them. What mm-hmm. I more so like is the organic side of things. So for example, where right here, if you notice, right, this is like the map pack the maps yeah. right here, we don't really see like the home advisors, right? We don't see the the Angie's list, the Yelp, because yeah. this is for local business owners. Mm-hmm. And what I'm seeing from just doing this search right now for both gate installation and gate repair, it's not that competitive. I mean, 24 reviews, you know, 31 reviews. I mean, we can get that many in the next couple of months, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. I mean, how many customers do you service right now per month? Maybe like 15 which is not enough. How many do you want to be doing per month? I want to go on like, um, uh, I would say in a, in a month, like 60, I want to go to like 60, 70 leads. No, no. Uh, how many projects are you doing? Not About leads. A 15 right now. I can take right. like much more. I can take like X3. I could take like 50 projects a month. Oh, wow. Okay. So you could do like three times, four times more. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. So then you have the capacity uh, to handle on more work, which which is also important. But I mean, dude, even at 15 customers a month, I think that's, I mean, we can still in a few months, I mean, I'm sure you can get a review from each customer, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you can you can get more than 30 customers in the next, or 24 customers in the next few days. Yeah. So I think man, we can absolutely rank this up here. Uh, and I think the organic section, the thing is, dude, like I can show you the results. Okay, interesting. I could show you a lot of the back end work, but even from my data and from my clients that we work with, 
once you're ranking up here, you're just getting all the phone calls and no one is charging you per call. So yeah. it's not $400 per call. It's just anyone that Googles it, you know, they're not going to go to click more businesses and scroll down and try to find someone and click on next and this. And like, not, they don't shop that much. <laughs> they go to Google, you know, sometimes they, they call like a Google ad, but a lot of times on, on their mobile phone, they scroll down and they just call one of these guys because it literally just has like the call icon and they just call them. Yeah. So it just makes it way, way easier. And you can help me rank it like higher. Yeah. So that's kind of our bread and butter uh, is, okay. is this section. I'm very familiar with Facebook ads and that's, in fact, most of my career has been Facebook ads. Um, we run it for our businesses. We, we still run it for our clients, but okay. there's, but there's times that I think ranking like this in the organic is just a better return on investment. Yeah. Because, for example, on Facebook ads, I mean, you're going to be spending minimum $3,000 a month. Okay. And cost per lead might be $20, $30 per lead, you know, $40 per lead, $50, about $50 per lead or so. Okay. Which, what do you think about that? I think it's fine to pay like $50 for a meeting, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That's that's not per meeting. That's not per booked estimate. That's like per lead. And then out of those, um, well, it's hard to say the exact numbers because I'm not I'm not too familiar with the fence space specifically on Facebook, but with remodeling and us doing like seventy thousand dollar projects and like really big things, uh, mm-hmm. it is. I mean, it it ranges. Sometimes it's fifty dollars per booked appointment. Sometimes it's a hundred dollars per booked appointment, but. Again, either way, I mean, if I can send a contractor, you know, 10 appointments, then I mean, what's what's your closing rate? Uh, one to three, I would say. Out of 10? No, uh, I, I'm closing one job out of three. Oh, okay. So about 33%. Okay, so cool. Yeah. So if you got 10, you'd close at least like three. From 10, I'm closing three at least. Three at least. Okay. Yeah, so then obviously it still makes sense because there's, you know, there's still enough profit um, for you to have that. And obviously we, we want to get way more than 10 appointments, but that's just an example to keep the number simple. Yeah. So it could definitely work. But the thing is when we go to Google, we just get way more phone calls than we ever can. And which is more people buy, like you'll, you'll be closing the, the, the closing percentages on Google are much higher because if you think about it, like if someone sits down and types in gate installation, they're a much higher quality buyer than someone that's sitting on the toilet and, and deciding, yeah. you know what? I do want to get a new gate or a new fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. So so we can get, uh, so it used to be Google Ads. We used to do Google Ads, but now it's just, dude, almost every area uh, is just way too expensive, especially in a place like LA where you have, you know, you have some big, big companies and you have some heavy hitters that are willing to spend a lot. Yeah. And it's yeah. also a profitable market. Yeah, I know. I know like a lot of those like big sharks and they, they like doping a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is a good way to come in and sneakily just get all the freaking phone calls. Yeah. And, you know, there's really a lot that um, that goes into it. But let me just ask a few more questions. So I did have this uh, a presentation. We'll kind of skip around here as well, because I, I like to keep these pretty interactive. But um, yeah, the, how much due diligence have you done on, on my company, by the way? I'm sorry? How much due diligence have you done on my company or like on what we do? No, not too much. Not too much? All right. So let's give you a brief background. Um, I, I basically came from Ukraine and I started this company in 2017. So I've been helping home service companies for many, many years now. And especially around like COVID time, like 2020 is when we really, really niched down and went okay. much, much happier. Uh, we have a seven person team. So I'm not a massive company. Obviously, I'm the owner. You're speaking to me. Yeah. Uh, we started with many, many different strategies with Facebook, Instagram. We've tested everything, man, TikTok and like anything you can imagine. We've probably tested it. And, um, that's because whatever works, that's just what I do. So it's not necessarily like, we're not just like a Facebook company. It's whatever gets you better results and gets, it gets more booked estimates. That's what we're going to focus on. Um, so 
we have a bunch of like, like videos and case studies. Have you seen, I think when you booked this appointment, you should have been automatically emailed like some of these case study videos and everything. Have you seen some of them? Yeah. Yeah. I saw, I saw, I think one of them. Okay, cool. So yeah, well, we do have a bunch of also reviews on like Google on Facebook on on all that, um, all five stars. So you can take a look at that if you want. Uh, you said you already saw some of these, so I'm not going to spend too yeah. much time on this, but yeah, man, instead of promising a million leads, I like quality over quantity. Um, so you said you've tried like the home advisor, the thumb tax, you, you, you've tried Google ads. Is there anything yeah. else that you tried? I tried the, um, home advisor, thumb tax. I'm still with thumb tax because I, li- I like working with them. Agents list. I didn't like working with them, not working with Google anymore. And I yell. So I'm basically just on thumb tuck right now. Okay. Gotcha. So what would you like to do? I mean, what you, you said thumbtack's kind of working. Like, do you see yourself using thumbtack in the future for a long time or, or what are your yeah, thoughts? On? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. I can see myself still using them because I, I like, I like, I like their, their system that when that you're paying uh, for per elite and you don't have like a, you know, like $3,000 and then they just, Get, giving you um, as much lead, lead as they can. In Tamtak, they're just they are charging you per lead. So if it's like a big job, then they're going to just charge you a hundred bucks. If it's like a small gate, then it can be like 16 bucks or even 25, something like that. That's what I like with working with Tamtak. Gotcha. Okay. Do you think Thumbtack will get you to your goal of what you told me about, which is you want to get to about like 40 or 50 a month? No, I don't think so. Not at the moment. I I, I think I need to use other platforms to get this amount of jobs. Okay. Why do you think that? Uh, because I'm not strong enough in uh, Thumbtack and they don't have enough leads. I see. So you can't just like increase your budget? I, I'm on an unlimited budget, so <laughs> yeah. You're like, take my money, and they're like, yeah, we can't it, give you any more. So, but I, I'm not spending more than eighteen. I didn't spend more than eighteen hundred a month, uh, just because they don't have enough leads. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, that's yeah. I I put there like unlimited budget because I know that. One of three leads, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close them. Yeah. That's really good, man. If your closing rate is one of three on Thumbtack, that's really good because you're competing with a lot of other people. Obviously, yeah. if something comes in from Google, they're A, they're way more high intent and they're actually calling you. So they're expecting to hear, right, your voice and especially yeah. the way that we phrase it. Like, you know, for example, someone lands on your website right now. There's no photos of you. There's no photos of like who you are. And even like the, the about us doesn't, I think, you know, this can also be like, there's no photo of you. No one, when people do business, man, and, and, and maybe you can agree, but they, they do business with other people, right? Yeah. The reason you can close is because you go into someone's house and they, and they like you, right? You talk to them, you tell them about your life that you learn about theirs. They like you. And then they just want to, they want to hire you. Yeah. So we want to portray that on the website as well. Okay. That's right. Nice. Because, yeah, because right now you're just like everyone else. I mean, if you, you know, it, it just looks like everyone else. Uh, and so the websites we found, they just convert more. They get more clients from website visitors if you just have something about yourself. Yeah. And I need to change the name of the company, like ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it doesn't even really need to be like an entirely massive change, by the way. Meaning like you don't have to change your LLC or your business corporation or your, you know, doing business as like, you don't really have to change anything like that. Just buy another domain and use the same website. I mean, you, you already not, you know, don't have a logo. So just use the same website and then just change like the .com because it's still so new. So just change the .com and let's say you want to call it like. um, What do you think about OnlyFans? What's up? What do you think of what do you think about the name OnlyFans? OnlyFans? Yeah. I yeah, I think you should do it. I think you might get sued, but you yeah. You, you can you, you can you can call it OnlyFans if you want. OnlyFans, but you know, F E N C E. Oh, only <laughs> OnlyFans. OnlyFans. 
I like it. Only fence Los Angeles. I mean, dude, you're yeah. you're you're in LA, man. Pe- people are kind of weird in Los Angeles. So yeah. I think I, I think they'll like it. I dude, I spent a good <laughs> amount of time in, I I spent a good amount of time in LA, bro. You don't have to tell me. Um yeah. I I stayed in Santa Monica for a few months and Okay. The people are crazy. Yeah. I thought maybe only gates, only gates and fences, something like that. That's true, because you do want gates in your name. Yeah, yeah. Only fence and gates. Only fence and gates. What do you think about this name? I like that. And I think I think it'll work well in LA and Las Vegas. If you get another branch, open it in Vegas. Yeah, I'm planning I'm plan- actually to do it in another one in Dallas. In Dallas? Yeah. I heard it's like everything like is really booming over there. The, yeah, it is. You know, actually, one thing I did with my other client or with one of my clients is we actually went in. He wanted to open up a second location and we went in um, to a new area. Like, let's say you weren't in Los Angeles and we actually temporarily used an address of one of his co. I don't know exactly who it was to him, but maybe it was, a, maybe it was like a colleague, just something like that. We use an address that he gave me mm-hmm. and we and we got a Google business verified. And then we started getting reviews from his other customers to the Google business. And we started ranking the business before he ever moved there. So he was getting calls in a new location before he ever yeah. set up his business. There. Really? And then yeah. obviously, obviously, once he moved, then he changed the address and everything. But oh. he, he just bought a DBA so he could do the business as that. And then he was getting phone calls. Once he got a lot of phone calls, then he moved. Really? Which is smart. Oh. Yeah, I, I would like, like, the the thing is with my location, I'm in Marina del Rey, which is there is no a lot of, like, uh, it's not in a, like, it's not in the center, you know, it's like by the ocean. So I think, like, to get a map in a different area, maybe it would be better for me. Well, I mean, if you look at the top guys, you know, they're not exactly in downtown area either. I mean, like one yeah. of these guys, I mean, where's this Payless guy? First guy, I don't get is a, it's a friend of mine. Which one? Uh, the the first one. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. You know, a bunch yeah. of these that have gates and fences and garage doors companies here in L.A. Yeah, so are you I, are you I, in this area or where's uh, Marina del Rey? You guys Marina are like del Rey. Right here. Yeah, I see it. yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was by the water. Yeah, you guys are right by the airport. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I th- I think you're fine. And my my previous company is like two blocks from me. I don't know if if they're on the maps. I didn't see him. You didn't oh, that's, see him. That's the good news. I mean, do they have so little reviews? There, it's almost like irrelevant. Yeah. And yeah, so you, it's not you're not going to compete too much with them once we actually start doing some Google stuff, but but anyways. Uh so let's let's keep going. So you just told me about some stuff you've tried in the past. Uh, yeah, so I was asking about the home advisor because I was curious to know why you didn't just, you know, increase your budget and spend more money on on um on Angie's or uh what was it? It was Thumbtack, right? Uh, yeah, Tamtak, I'm, I'm, I'm like unlimited budget. Unlimited, uh, yeah. List, like, I didn't like working with them just because you, they charging you either way. Um, and they're charging a lot for per lead and they're sending yeah. it to like many, many companies. And the people then, most of the time, they're not answering the customers. Right. Yeah. And, and with the home advisor and agent list, they don't have a, a refund system. With Tamtak, it's easier for me to get refund even on those leads that uh, uh, that I didn't close. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, so the way that we work is we don't work per lead. We are a marketing agency. So th- so yeah. it is it is monthly I fees. Okay, good. Just making sure because we don't yeah, do refunds. No, I know. I know that that's how you guys work. It. Okay, yeah. So it's not per lead, and, and we definitely yeah. don't do refunds, and we're definitely not cheap. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as long as you know that, and you're cool mm-hmm. with that. Okay. So uh, basically, 
the we just looked at all, all of this stuff. Do you already have a Google business page or no? Google business page. Yeah, like one of these. Uh, one of these are here. I, I opened. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. No, not yet. Okay. Okay. So we'll definitely we'll help you set that up. We'll actually be able to set that up for you if you'd like. But okay. yeah, let's actually dive into the system. So right now, are you just out of stuff that we talked about? Are you more interested in, in the Facebook ads or in something like this with Google? Um, in which one do you, you think you can get, get me more leads? So I think long term, long medium to long term for sure, Google and for, for much sure. cheaper. Okay. And for the short term? For short term, Facebook is almost instant. Almost instant. Yeah. As well, after we set it up, we just hit run and then you get leads. Okay. But Google, it takes time. Obviously, we can't, I can't, you know, just set up your business and then all of a sudden overnight you're number one because then everyone would do that. It doesn't work that way, right? It takes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes months and months and months. Uh, and also it, it takes a lot of expertise. I mean, like your your past company that you were in, I mean, they're they're still nowhere to be found. They're right. They're not even on page number two. That's because yeah. you know you guys you guys never hired someone to to help you with this. But yeah. I, if you guys have been in business for that long, A, you have way more than nine Google reviews or nine customers, right? You have a good rating on Thumbtack. You have a good like this is all good. This listing is very good. You guys have videos on here, like there's people on there. You, it's just not optimized. If this was optimized, it would be at the top, which also tells me that, I mean, there's a lot of people here that don't know what they're doing and that's, it's great for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's great for me. And if I would like so, to do both. What's that? If I would like to jump on both of them, like the Facebook and the Google. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. I think that if you do Google and Facebook, the way that I would recommend it, and this is what we've done before for clients, is I would recommend that you run the Google in the background and then the Facebook should only really run for like three, four months. And so obviously it's going to be more expensive because you're paying the ad spend. And also we have to build all the ads for like four or five months. But then as the Google starts to rank up, then you can get rid of Facebook. Or you can keep going, honestly. If, if you like the Facebook and the Google together, then you can just keep them running together. We do have clients that do yeah. both. We also have clients that just do what's called retargeting. So anyone that comes in from Google and like it, they land on a website, mm -hmm. you can actually, um, you can pixel them, meaning there's like a piece of code that fires. And I'm sure you've experienced this. And now if I go to Facebook, I might start seeing their Facebook ads. Okay. Right. You, and I'm sure you've seen that, right? Like you've, you've probably been on Amazon. You looked at a product. Maybe you looked at a new watch or a new plant that you wanted to buy. And then you go to Amazon and then all of a sudden you're seeing, or no, you go back to Facebook and then, and then you're seeing that product. You're seeing more watches. Yeah. You're seeing more. Yeah. So it's the same technology. Okay. So that's also something that's, I think can work very, very well. Um, is that something you'd be open towards? Um, yeah, like I'm, yeah, it might be interesting to do that. It all depends on how much I will have to spend right now. Um, because right. uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what kind of budget do you, do you have in mind? Like, what are you, what are you thinking in terms of ad spend and how you'd want to manage that? Um, definitely. I don't want to spend like the, the amount of money I, I used to spend before. Um, I want to be right now, like about like $3,000 a month. I want to okay. see if I, if I'm getting like, of course, if I'm going to get like good results, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to raise the budget. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's what I would recommend. I, I don't think it ever really makes sense to jump in and just start spending. Like we, we, we had one client, uh, and they, they went from spending a thousand dollars um a month into spending like a thousand dollars a week, right? And yeah. so they they increased it very rapidly. So 
Yeah, I think that that certainly does make sense. Um, so there's a couple other things that I want to do. Do you have a past list of customers that we can potentially reach out to or no? Um, or, I have, or leads that you never closed, rather? I have some leads. That, yeah, leads that I okay. never closed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we we do this campaign right here. So you give us your previous customer list. We send proven emails and text messages, and then we, we basically try to get them on on an estimate. And we're seeing a, a bunch of just estimates and job requests come from that. And we again, we do this. We book it in in your calendar. Okay. Does that sound, sound like something something that you'd want to do? I don't know. I because I believe my. Uh... The customer that didn't close with me, I believe they closed with a different company. Okay. Well, we can still try it. We can try it. Yeah, we can try it. So this is kind of how it's it, it works for here. The, the most companies, what they do is they have leads, right? So contractors close about like 10 to 20% of these calls. Mm-hmm. Um, and from Angie's, whatever house, like whatever. They... they they shop around. Uh, and if also, even if you do Facebook and Instagram wrong, the issue is uh, these are just low quality leads. You know, if you just get name, email, and phone, that's a low quality lead. What we yeah. like to do, especially if we're running like Facebook ads, we actually run them through a survey. And on the survey, it asks them a, a bunch of questions. And it asks them questions like, um, you know, how big, actually, here, why don't I do this? I'm just going to show you a live account. So give me one second. I'll put this up. And then I'll just give you like exact questions that uh, we've asked. Now it's it's going to be a little bit different for you because I'll show you a client that we have that's a remodeling client. But I'll show you kind of how the system works. Okay. Here it's asking me to log in with my phone number here. But I, in general, when you come across, have you ever tested Facebook ads or tried that yourself or no? I just tried like uh, a few days ago. I just opened a yourself uh, Facebook page myself. Yeah, but did you run ads? Yeah. How'd that go? I'm getting some like uh, followers and likes, but it's not yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. looking for. I got also uh, one one message on Messenger, but it just asked me. Where I locate where I'm located and that's it. I replied yeah. and he never answered back. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I mean, we don't we don't really run that kind of thing. Uh, we don't do follower campaigns and like campaigns. We do leads, man. That's that's yeah. the better thing, I think. Um, so and then you can actually book them. And also one thing that we like to do as well is uh book consultations as well. So let me show you an example. Let me let me know once you can see my screen. Yeah, I can see that right now. Okay. So this is a lead. This is a conversation. So essentially, like we like to book phone call consultations, and so yeah. you you could book, for example, estimates. But what we've seen is just you know it's better just to do a, a phone call first, so you can vet them before you drive over. Do you agree with yeah, that, or do you want to? Yeah, that's what I'm doing with my customers right now. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah, so as you can see here, so the page visited uh, right now. So you can see this was recent, this is May 24th. Um, so this person came in and we automatically, so they automatically booked. They visited a page, right? So they filled out our survey right here, survey submitted. Then they landed under a booking page and then they booked in a, a session right here and then they hit the thank you page. And so, for example, they booked in an appointment. Let's see, under appointments right here. Boom. So they booked in an appointment, 11.45 a.m. And this came in, obviously, from Facebook, as you can see here, FB, right? So May 29th. So you can see that under the activities. And so they booked it, came in on 24th, booked on the 29th. So now you're probably your next question is, okay, well, what did they actually like? Uh, what did they fill out? So on the survey, this is what we collected. We got their street address, as you can see here. Mm-hmm. We got the question, are you the homeowner? Or what's the scope of the project? Uh, timeline for the project. Of course, for you, we would change it from kitchen and bathroom, both to whatever, you know, fence, installations, fence repair, gates, installations, repairs, anything else you want. Mm-hmm. 
this we customize and then timeline from project. So this person said more than a month from now. So maybe not the best lead, but that's roughly how it works. And as soon as that, that, as soon as they book that appointment, as you can see, so we're making different opportunities, moving them in different like pipelines and stages. And then here we automatically text them. So we say their name, your initial phone call consultation is scheduled and reserved. Boom. Wednesday, please reply with yes to confirm we've got the right time. Also, please add it to your calendar. Right. So we do that. And then because they didn't respond, we actually texted them the next day and we yeah. said, name, do we have the right time and day? <laughs> so again, this is automatic, by the way. No one's actually doing this. Yeah. Like this, yeah. this is our this is our automations. And then good morning. So it's a call consultation. Good morning. Yes, it is. Now, this is a manual response. This is my client. Yeah. Boom. Yes. Good morning. Uh, yes, we schedule the phone consultation first. And then if we're able to help you, blah, blah, blah. And the reason we do the phone call is because, you know, Sometimes people just play phone tag. And that's what we've seen. So if we just send them, we do tell them to call you. We say, hey, by the way, like if you wanted to do this immediately, call them right now. But sometimes yep. it goes to missed call or you're playing phone tag going back and forth. So, so yeah. And then they said, anytime, give you a call. Okay, fine. Today, perfect. And then, yeah. So excited for a design consultation. 10 minutes. Talk soon. Right. Okay. So but that's how it works. Yeah. We can customize the text messages or whatever, but this is our software right here. And this is what you're going to have access to as well. Uh, this is specifically linked to uh, Facebook. You'll see when it says uh, social media or when it says organic. If it says organic, it means it came in from Google. So we track both sources. Okay. So what do you think that, about that so far? Yeah, that sounds, that sounds, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, do you think something like this would work for your company? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Have you ever tried any sort of like automated like system like this? No, because I I didn't I didn't have enough leads. That's why like I never knitted it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, sounds good. So that's like basically how how that works. Uh, if they come in, I'll be honest, if they come in from this page, the Google page, it skips a lot of that because they just call you directly and then you could just book the estimate. So you just yeah. do the immediate consultation. So we do both. This is specifically for Facebook because with Facebook, some of them are just, you know, they're just kind of low quality. So we have to filter them through a survey and then we book the phone call consultation. Okay. And tell me how fast I can be ranked like higher on uh, Google Maps. Depends on the area and the competition, but in yours, from what I'm seeing, probably like four or five months, six months, four to six months. Four to six months? Yep. And how many leads I'll be able to get like after those four, four or five, first to six months? I mean, a lot. Uh, I mean, you'll be getting, uh, if we go, you want to go after gate installation or repairs? Uh, installations. I mean, a lot. Uh, this is one keyword is 110. We have automatic gate installation, driveway gate installation, electric gate installation. I mean, yeah. I mean, 100, you know, 50, 60, 70, call, you know, phone calls. It's a couple phone calls a day. Okay. Basically, you know, I, I would like more to push the Google, the Google uh, maps. The Google ads? Uh, uh, no ads. The Google Maps. Yeah, maps. Maps. Yes, yeah. I agree. I agree, man. Uh, so that's, the long run, that will give me more work. Yeah, and these are. And by the way, like you, you know, you can get more leads off of uh, Facebook than, like, immediately than really any other platform. Like, even if we do Google Ads, you'll get way less leads. Uh, but Facebook will get you like the quickest leads, the quickest results, but the Google uh, SEO are just the highest quality traffic because yeah. these are people that are typing in, I need this service, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so yeah, that's that. Um, let's take a look as this is kind of how it works, obviously, right? So this, you, this is how the Google My Business uh, works. One thing we also have is called the Accelerated Five Star Review Machine. And so we essentially take, do you have a past list of customers, like name, email, phone number, that kind of thing? Yeah, I have some, yeah. Do you have it from the past company that you were with where people were? No, with not you? anymore. Okay, all right. Well, how big is that list? 
Right now, not too big. Let me see. Like 10, 15, 30? 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 20, 30. Okay. All right. Well, that's still good enough, man. Because the th- the point is the same way we reactivate your uh, old leads or pretend, you know your old potential customers. We can also go in and send these guys emails and texts and get them to leave a Google review. And so you get a bunch, a bunch of Google. I mean, we have clients that get a ton of Google reviews. Um, I'll show you some in a in a second when I actually go over like some actual case studies. But as you can see, these guys. I mean, they have thirty one, twenty four. You know, so even if we can get like twenty reviews. We're going to set up your new business. You have 20 reviews and you'll have, you already have more than double of what the, of what your part, your old partner has. Yeah. And Google are accepting any review. They're not like deleting a review like Yelp. If it's a fake review, they'll delete it. But if it's from real customers. Yeah. Cool. So this is our app that you just saw as well. And I shared my screen, right? This is it right here. And the, the way it works is we just centralize everything, your phone calls, text, you know, and messages, your website chat, your website forms, everything goes into here and we track it very, very carefully. So we can see which lead is coming in from where. And then we follow up with all those leads. And then the leads that don't actually contact you, we keep following up automatically. So if they don't answer, if they don't respond to you, we'll text them again the next day. Then we text them again the next day. We're like, uh, yeah. you know, look, we're saving your spot. Let us know if you still want this. If not, no problem. Let us know so we won't reach out. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's kind of the process here. Uh, of just to bring it all together. So we do the rapid job collection blast, right? So the lead reactivation. Then we build out the maps asset, the Google Maps asset territory, which is what we talked Mm -hmm. about, the Google Maps business. We do the five-star review machine. And then we we set up your actual app. So everything is working seamlessly, which is this app right here. Okay. Cool. So do you have any questions so far? Um, No. Does everything make sense? Because I know we are, we're we're covering a lot of a lot of stuff here. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is this something that you would you would even want to do? I believe so. Yeah. It depends. Uh, yeah. It depends on the price and how much we'll be able to spend on that right now. Okay. Sounds good. So let me actually show you. Uh, oh yeah. Also, one other thing that's I forgot to mention is we only work with one company per area. So yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said oh. that in the in the video that I in like emails. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, so LA is open, which is which is good for you because sometimes in like bigger areas like LA or like whatever, if we do have a client, then we kind of have to divide it up into what areas we want to rank, but you can just kind of yeah. pick whatever you want. So, anyways, this is one client. Uh, this is a moving company, as you can see here. He has 198 phone calls. Uh, in the past 30 days, and it's all just from being organic, all from being just Google. We run no paid yeah. ads, no ad spend, no this or that. It's one of the videos. There's another video. This is a remodeling. So 173 calls in the past 30 days. Again, all from Google organic. Mm-hmm. So pretty crazy there. So yeah. let me actually show you. Okay, cool. So it's a 12 month campaign. So after the the first like three to six months, we'll hit top three, uh, roughly. And then we do have a six month trial period. So basically if after six months you, you don't want to continue, that's fine as well. We also have a guarantee just to make sure that everything is on track. So what we guarantee is that you'll hit top three, the top three businesses, they get all the phone calls, top Mm -hmm. three in that six month period. And you'll be getting more leads or we work for free until you're actually ranked in that top three. Okay. And we also do all that in writing. So it's legally backed. Um, but also real quick, do you did you want to do the Facebook ads as well or just the just the Google stuff? I would like to hear the yeah, I want to hear the price of the Facebook too. Because if it's if it's gonna be on my budget, then then I'll be able to do that too. But uh, I wanna okay. hear that. cool. So this is one of our tools that we used to track. Says so you can see it kind of shows up in red. This means that it's ranked like twenty plus, meaning it's not in the in the top three. And then if it's green, it means it's you know ranked number one, two, or three. And then it, it'll tell you in what area you're ranked number one, and in what area you're not ranked number one. And that's also how okay. we 
we continue that process. So, so where would you like to go from here? It sound interesting so far? Yeah. Cool. So this is kind of how it goes. So this is the pricing per location. So as you can see here, you will start getting, you know, some calls and some estimates coming in from Google, but the majority of them that will come in will be after six months. That's when we're going to be like really, really crushing it. Okay. So, so in general, uh, this is the, the volume of sales that we see for remodeling. Uh, and then we have year two, and this is sustainment. Obviously, other people are going to try to come in and rank up towards the top. And so we'll make sure that you always stay at the top and you're absolutely crushing it. Uh, this program that I'm showing you is we actually revived it. I didn't do it for a while, um, but I saw one of my best clients. He's been with me since 2019, and we've been yep. doing this since 2019, and he's been crushing okay. So, so for the payment option, the investment is twelve thousand. It's broken up into twelve monthly payments of a thousand dollars, and then we do have a discount available if you pay for the full year up front, which is two thousand off. Okay. So, so the twelve thousand are you paying it for uh, for a year to operate all this thing, and for the app? Yes, everything. Okay. And on Google, I'll have, I'll have to invest something on Google. No, not for the the SEO. We do we do all the stuff on the back end, um, and there's no like ad spend or anything else like that. And you're gonna set up the um, Google business, yeah. The Google business. Yep. We'll set it up right. Yeah, you're gonna send us all the photos. We'll set it up on your account, so you're gonna own it. You're gonna be the owner. Uh, we'll up, we'll help you upload all the photos, all the technical stuff on the back end. We'll do. Okay. Sounds not not that bad. And that's for just yeah. for the Google, you say? That's the Google, yeah, yeah. And by the way, this is in this is in beta, uh, as in like this this pricing. Like we are going to increase it. The plan, um, our 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 other package that I'll tell you about in a second. Uh, the the minimum for that is two thousand. And then that's plus ad spend. So our normal packages are three thousand and up. We're doing this one for a thousand, and I mean that. Like I'm not just saying this, but we we are going to be increasing it to one thousand five hundred after we get like two or three more clients. So it, it will be uh, we will be increasing this. So. So this okay. one will increase after how? I didn't understand. Well, I'm saying in the future for other people that want to sign up, oh, this okay. will be one thousand five hundred okay. because. This is this is too cheap, in my opinion. We spend our normal prices are minimum three thousand, and you know we're charging a thousand now. So okay. no, that's for, that's for Facebook ads. So do you want to hear about the Facebook ads? You were kind of curious about that, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to hear for the oh, on the Facebook. Okay. Ads. Yeah. So for the Facebook ads, here I'll just remove this or so full screen. So for the Facebook ads, the way that works is. You, we run it on your account. So if you have a Facebook page, it goes to your ads. It's like, you know, it's everything is coming into your business. So the people see your, your company name, your everything. I recommend a minimum. We do a $50 a day budget and that goes to Facebook. Our yeah. service fee to run all this, to set it all up. And you're going to get the app and everything with the Facebook ads as well. Like I showed you. We used to charge for it, but we just saw that everyone that uses the app just gets better results and then they stay with us longer for Facebook. And so now we just we just yeah. give that, we just install that for free. And that our service fee is $1,500 a month for, for, for Facebook. Yeah. So total is about $3,000. Uh, just, uh, just for Facebook, the $50, yes. the $50 a day for, uh, for ads. And then you running, uh, you running it. It's fifteen hundred. Correct. And from from these fifty bucks a day, how how many leads that you think I can get on Facebook? I'm more familiar with the remodeling numbers. To be fully yeah. transparent, it's about forty dollars a lead. Now again, these are also fifty thousand dollar projects. Yeah, fences and gates are. Not that expensive, right? Yeah, yeah. But they're still home services. So we're targeting the same people in the same demographic. Homeowners, yeah. people that want home improvement. So I think it's going to be roughly the same. I think it's going to be around $40 to $50 per lead. 
which means you can expect about one per day on average. On average. Okay. That sounds something that I might also would, would like to, to start. Okay. So as in both? Yeah, I think I, think I would like to go with both. both okay. And you also, like, what, for the Facebook, what, what do you need to get from me? Do you already have a Facebook page for the business? Yeah. Okay, nice. So for that, we'll, we just need to get access. So we're going to do an onboarding call where you actually give us access to everything. Like you're going to fill out a form after this and it has like 12 questions or so. And then we, we're going to have a link where you're going to upload a bunch of photos and like your project photos and that kind of stuff. Uh, as you fill that out, it's going to guide you into a calendar and you're just going to book in an onboarding call. And then, so we're going to jump on and that's where you just give us like agency access to, you know, just access so we can run your marketing on Facebook and on Google. And then from there, that's all you have to do. We set up everything. We set up all your systems. We link it to our software. And then you just have logins to our software. And then you just go in there and you see exactly how many leads come in, when they come in, and you just use our software to respond to everyone. Okay. And with this Facebook and the Google Maps, my... Uh my website will uh, rank higher organically too? Yes, exactly. So that, that's the point of the SEO. So the Facebook ads would be my plan for you for like the next maybe like four months, five months. And then we can essentially remove that. And then you can just stay on the 1,000 a month and get the, you know, however many calls just from the Google organic, if you want. If you still want more leads, we can keep running. I'm happy to keep running Facebook. But if you if you do want to stop doing the Facebook, then that's fine. Okay. Yeah, like yeah, I would like to start with Facebook just so I can get like immediate results. So okay, can, exactly. So, so, get so more down to, to pay more for marketing because how it's worked with me, I'm as much as much jobs as I'm closing, I would I wanna get like more jobs, so I would spend more on marketing. Right. Yeah. And if you want, man, like I said, you could increase the budget on Facebook. If you, if in the future, if you find that you're closing and you're making money from it and you want to reinvest and you want to say, okay, cool. Instead of $50 a day, let's do a hundred dollars a day. I mean, LA is a big enough area to where we can just, you know, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So basically from, I'm thinking like to start with the Facebook right now, Um, and then I want to get like more, uh, more clients so I can get them to put me review on the, on the Google maps fast. So I don't want to have a Google maps like running without, to, without to have any reviews on them. So I want to get like a first, like a bunch of customers that will be able, uh, to write me a review on Google and then once I'm opening the Google Maps, I already have like 15 or 20 customers that for sure are going to get me a review. Right. That's yeah, I like think that's... Sense. Yeah, I mean, with our Google review campaign, you're probably going to get like an extra 15 reviews like right out of the gate, right? And ranking on Google and being at the top isn't necessarily all the about review. the reviews. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not necessarily about the reviews. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's that's one part of it, right? Because for example, let me let me share my screen here again. So I went into the Google Maps here. Let me go back here so I could show you. So right now it looks that way. The top guy is 107, but really it's more than that. Because let me show you. Most businesses, watch this. This guy has 40 reviews, but he's yeah. not number two, right? Look at this guy. He has 4.8 stars. Yeah. 20 plus years in business, 170 reviews. He has more, he has way more reviews than even the number one, your friend, first garage door. He has yeah. more reviews and better reviews than this number one guy. And yet he's all the way down here. He's like yeah. number six or seven. And also look at this guy, 216. This guy's 11 reviews and he's higher than this guy. That's two, yeah. 216 reviews, 25 years. So the reviews, man, are just a small part. And even if you looked at like what I showed you with some of my clients, if you look at the top, so if you look at the, the listing, 
we have 10 reviews on this one. Yeah. If you look at this one, we have 38 reviews, which is which is competitive, but it's not even the most. These guys are 40. This guy is 80. Mm-hmm. So the reviews are part of it. And if you want to do the, the Google stuff later, then it's going to start the process later. So if you do Facebook yeah. ads for, let's say, three months, and then in three months, you're like, hey, let's do Google now. Then we have to wait. You know, we started yeah. then, and then in four or five or six months, then you'll see the results for that. But if we start them both today, then in, you know, whatever, four or five, six months, you'll get the organic calls while the Facebook. So we'll do two things. And then the Facebook can be running. And then also the SEO can be running in the background. I see. All right. So, yeah, that sounds good. Can we get on a call um, tomorrow too? So we can finalize everything. Sure. What would you like to, uh, well, what exactly would you like to finalize? Yeah, I'm yeah, probably going to go with both of them together. Okay. With the, yeah, with the Google and, and, the, and the Facebook. Okay. Nice. So what's stopping us from moving forward today? Right now, because I have a meeting in uh, 340. And it's 15 away, 15 minutes away from here. So I'll have to head okay. out. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, I definitely don't want to keep you here for too long. Uh, I mean, all the only next steps, man, is, is just for us to actually sit down and build it out. So the way it works is I'll just take your card details here and then I can automatically onboard you. I'll send you the welcome email. It has the form. You can fill it out later today and then we can get started tomorrow. And then in about five days, business days, which will be early next week, we could do a Zoom meeting. And that's what we'll show you, everything that we built. We'll show you all the Facebook ads, all the pages, the survey. We built everything. Okay. So how much I will have to pay you right now? So you, it would be $2,500. $2,500? Correct. Um, let me see. Let me see what, what card I have uh, ready for that. Let's do that. Uh, can I pay you right now $1,000 so we can start with the Google? And then tomorrow we're going to do the second one? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, we can do the 1000 today. And then uh, you want to do 1500 tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do that. All right. Is that going to be credit or debit? Credit. Cool. And is that Visa or MasterCard? Uh, that's a discovery. Okay. I'm ready for the number when you are. 601. 